Hello, in this tutorial, I wanted to work out the idea of anonymous functions. These are a different way of expressing functional relationships within MATLAB. For example, in the previous assignment, when you had to plot the probability function, you might have done something like this. Let's say you had the domain or the range from x equals minus 10 to 10 and you wanted to plot the probability, you would have done something like square root of 2 pi into say some sigma value, let's assume it is 10, into exponential <coughs> minus x squared by 2 into 10. Then you would have set plot x versus p with say a red line, okay? That's what you would have done. This is what we have, okay? Now let's say you wanted to do do the change, make a change and you wanted to plot for some other sigma, sigma value. What you had to do was to go physically and change the values of the parameters. For example, you had to say maybe x is now two. You had to call the function by some other name maybe. So you say hold on and then you plot P1, maybe with a blue curve, okay? So, but this kind of expressing functional relationships becomes very cumbersome. And if you have parameters that change, or if you have parameters that you have to fit, then expressing functions like this, or our function definition using, for example, opening a script or a function becomes very tedious. Okay, in these, in these instances, it's easier to have it, it's easier to work with something known as an anonymous function okay so let's now try to yeah, let me try to introduce this idea the way you define a function as an anonymous function is the following you say at some constants okay it could be it could be some let, let's have a smaller variable for constants some constants okay x Okay, that's the variable that you're going to choose. And you could have something like constants, one, x maybe x bar two plus constants, two, and so on. Okay. It doesn't, the keyword doesn't matter. It, it just, just so that you know that these are constants, they appear first in the function definition. And lastly, you appear the x dependence, okay? And so now what I can do, I can set constants equals, say, um, one times one and two. I could set it that way. Then the way I can do a plot is, I, is what is known as an F plot. F plot at X, okay, function constants X, the limits of the function okay let's plot this between one and five okay, so for example you had that now let me hold on and let me now change the constants so now let's say i want to plot it for one and uh, let me shift it by four okay so i do f plot same idea a new function Maybe I want to change the constants again. Let's call it green and so on. Okay. So this is a very handy way of expressing functions. Let's practice a bit more. Let's try to do, uh, let's try to make the graphs of the Gaussian probability distribution that we had. So we would define the anonymous function as constants. Okay. Just to remind you again, this keyword, you can call it anything. I just call it constants because it's easier to understand. X, one by square root of two into pi into constants one. I'm going to put the, put the step, put the mean, sorry, put the standard, devi, standard deviation as part of constants two into exponential minus x now x will be can be a vector okay put 
it as part two x minus constants one which is the mean of the distribution the whole raised to the power 2 2 into constants 2 oops sorry what did i do close parenthesis close parenthesis okay now let's let's say i want to plot a function with mean a gaussian probability with mean 0 and variance 10 okay all i then need to do is do f plot at x function the constants that i chose okay x in the range say minus 10 to 10 and with the color say red so that's my first Gaussian probability distribution. Let me hold on to this. Let me now change the constants to 1 and say 20, 0 and 20. And I plot this again. You see it has expanded a bit. Okay. Now let me change the mean as well. Let me call it 5. So you see that having these anonymous functions makes it very easier to work with functions and plot them. In the next tutorial, we will see how we can use this idea of anonymous functions and do curve fitting. Thank you.